Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the gymnasium at Finley High School for tonight's WSN game between the host Finley Trojans and the Spartans from Lima Senior. Tonight's pregame is sponsored by the State Bank. Contact the State Bank for all your banking and financial services needs. Visit your State Bank at statebank.com. Member of FDIC and an equal, excuse me, an equal housing lender. This is Jerry Snodgrass doing the play-by-play -play tonight, along with Dar Nevengar, who will provide the color commentary. And Dar, this promises to be a very, very good now non-conference basketball game. It certainly does, Gary. If you look at these two teams and, and what they bring to the table, you know, Finley coming in at five and zero oh and overall, and, and Lima Senior coming in at three and two. But you know, totally contrast, I think, between the two. You got a Finley team that's only given up 38 points a game, and then you look over the other side, you got a Lima Senior team that's averaging almost 80 points a game. You know, of course, one of those games they blew somebody out 107 or something. But you know, but it's total contrast between the two. But I tell you what, it's going to be an interesting. You know, I've I've done Lima Senior Finley games before, and you can pretty much throw the records out the door. You can throw everything out the door because it's going to be an up and down game. Now. The challenge is going to be, can Finley control this you know, up-tempo game of Lima Senior? They've been able to do it with everybody else, so I don't see why they can't do it with these guys, too. And, you know, one of the things, you know, you talked about having done several of the Finley-Lima Senior games. It's been such a rivalry through the years. Oddly enough, there was a long break in this game, and it picked up again in 1984. And I say that because I also have been involved in several of these uh, games. In fact, there were two technicals in that 84 game. Oh, I got one of the only technicals in my entire coaching career, and I was an assistant coach. So you're right, uh, contrast of styles, but Finley has been very good through the years of controlling speed. And I'll tell you an unknown that I think a lot of people might overlook. In this game, on this court, this is a short court. This is an 84 foot court, mm -hmm. you can see the volleyball lines. Yep. And that does a lot from a coaching standpoint to neutralize a lot of the speed and quickness. It's just a little tighter. And I know a lot of people might not agree with that, but it's proven fact through the years. Oh yeah, so, absolutely. And like I said, you know, this, this Lima Senior team, now that Lima Senior was, got beat by Whitmer, you know, 78 to 74. Finley handled Whitmer fairly easily, and, and it was a little surprising to me, but, you know, they handled them really well. So, you know, I really don't know what to expect. Right. Because you look at those things, you look at what, you know, you know, Lima Senior's coming off a win, you know, after that, uh, after two-game two, two game winning streak, Finley 5-0. and oh, So, you know, anytime, anytime you do a Finley game, you know, a gym rookie team, is prepared. That's the biggest thing. They are always prepared for who, no matter who the opponent is. So I expect a very good game tonight. I do too. And we will be back for the opening tip for this 81st meeting between these two schools right after this. Welcome back, everyone, to Finley High School. We're looking for starting lineups. First of all, for the line of senior Spartans, they're going to go with number four, Brody Barnes, number five, Sam Ernst, number ten, Reese Stillings. Excuse me, I've got the wrong lineup here. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> so, number four, Javante Wal Javon Walton, number five, Isaiah Wilson, number ten, Caden Hampton, number eleven, Sean Foster, and number twenty, Finley Diego. And Finley's going to go with their normal lineup of uh, Brady Barnes, uh, Sam Ernst, and we start out right away with a little back door and a nice little lane. I expect we're going to see a lot of that tonight, Gary, because that's kind of all that Finley likes to play. They like to get those inside baskets, and get the baskets, the easy baskets. They can shoot three-pointers, too, but they like those easy baskets. Yes, and they'll really take advantage, I think, of the pressure by Lima Senior, trying to get a lot of backdoor cuts. We're seeing Lima, or excuse me, Finley High School coming out in their typical man-to-man -man right now. They will switch defenses now and then. And they got the six foot six Hutchins kid out there to give them a little bit of height on the inside. And I know, Dar, that a lot of people 
are watching this game to watch Javante Hill currently bringing the ball floor as a point guard. Has been on Sports Center a few times this year. We'll talk about that a little bit later. There it is again. You know, that's Will Cordagna, you know, playing out on the perimeter. Loves to shoot for three, but is also obviously very effective inside. You're going to hear me talk about this, and both of us will throughout the game. Cordagna going to the line for shooting, shooting two, but you're going to see several times where the, the ancestry of the players on this court right now are very, very unique. Right there, Cordagna is oh, the yeah. grandson of a longtime University of Finley coach. And Ben Best is the son of the current coach. Sam Ernst hits that three. We've got an early 7-0 lead for Finley. Yeah, they're taking advantage of every shot they can get on this Lima Senior team. And Lima Senior, you know, they came into this game giving up, uh, you know, nine turnovers a game. You know that shot? You know, miss, but you see Finley capitalize so much on forcing a quick shot. You know, good defense, and so keyed by good defensive rebound. You no, know, absolutely, and that's one thing Lima Senior, you know, they're not going to take any time to shoot, to shoot the ball. Like I said, they're averaging almost 80 points a game, so they like to get up and down the court as quick as they can. Now, they have been out-rebounded, surprisingly, by every team, you know, overall by every team they played this year. So, you know, it's going to be an interesting one down low as to whether or not they can get the rebounds they need. We have three very veteran uh, longtime officials on the game. Darren, Darrell Phillips, who made that call, Kevin Patafias, Jim Jordan, three veteran officials. All the state tournament experience. Now you can watch, you know, you see Isaiah Wilson just taking that ball around, but he went over in the back with another turnover. That's the second turnover unofficially for Lima Senior already. I'll tell you what, you can see a quick timeout here by Quincy Simpson if uh, Finley's able to score again. Look at that backdoor play right there. And again, you know, probably might have gotten away with one there a little bit, but still a backdoor. Oh. What a great move that time. Sean Foster on that reverse layup. Foster's their catalyst for this Lima senior team, averaging about 20 points a game, so he's the guy that can really get the move. Um, that's the third possession on a back door. And that's one of the few times Javante Hill hasn't just put it down. Well, Lima Senior's going to have to do something about that because they, they're really making that left to right movement underneath that basket for Finley, and they're, you know, very successful at it. And I did notice when I saw Finley play earlier in the year, they are very left-handed. You know, ball going left-hand side so many times. Great shot that time, number 10. Uh, Caden Hampton on that. Yeah, Caden averaging, he's a 5'10 senior, averaging about six and a half points a game for the Spartans. See, now you're seeing Cordania on the inside. He has a very nice hook shot inside. First, first turnover for Finley. Good job by Lima Senior, though, because as soon as they, you know, Cordonia, Cordonia got the ball underneath there, they they brought over their big guy in Hutchins to, to double up on him. And I cannot overemphasize the great coaching by both these teams. Oh, absolutely. You know, Quincy has taken these guys. They're very disciplined when they need to be. They run when they need to be, need to. An interesting shot selection there. Oh, look out. Pick an offensive foul that time. Good adjustment by the Spartans right now because that's two two times now, two turnovers in a row for Finley trying to go to that back door and trying to get to the basket quickly. They've been able to front them up you know, on both those opportunities. And Finley brings in Ryan Montgomery, number 23, who just tipped that ball out of bounds. Was a starter early in the year, experienced a few injuries early in the season. And Javante Hill, uh, has taken his place in the starting line. Yeah, Ryan averaging 
you know, he's six foot three junior, averaging six points a game. So they're not going to lose a lot when it comes to offense by bringing him in either. And very have a lot of scoring. Give Lima Senior credit. They're doing very well getting back on the defensive end, but Finley running with them, too. Yeah, absolutely, and, and Lima Senior are doing a good job of making that adjustment to try to keep Lima, or keep Finley away from that basket. So, you can see Cordani has such a soft touch on the inside. And I mentioned he's the grandson of Ron Neekamp, longtime University of Finley coach. Oh, okay. Great help side defense that time by Ryan Montgomery. That's uh, four turnovers now for Lima Senior. Eleven four here early on in the first quarter. Just past the midway mark. You can see Finley really forcing that baseline, and there's so much help on that baseline, and they're man to man. And that's where most of their turnovers have been created. Well, and they're, you know, that's going to be a problem for Lima Senior because if they don't get somebody over there to help when there's guys, they like to drive to the basket, but then they're out there in no man's land by themselves. And, and they can't have that because Finley's going to double them up and take the ball away from which they just did on that one there. And Caden Hampton back in the game for the Spartans. They just have so, Finley has so many offensive weapons. They can put people on the inside. That, you know, that's their point guard right now, posting up on the inside. 13-4, we're a little bit more than midway through the first quarter. And he's a six foot one senior, though, because he's got a little bit of height there, even though he's you know out there on the point. Like I said, most of these guys can jump out of the, out of the gymnasium anyhow. Bucket that's, by Jaden or Javon Walton. That's his first basket. And see a back door coming here on the reverses. Oh, look at that. They're letting them play down on the inside. And yes, I think they these are. three officials, who are veteran Division I officials, will let them play. They're not going to see a lot of whistles unless it's a blatant foul. But again, that's Lima Senior making that adjustment, and, you know, fronting up the guy when he comes across on that back door, and then the guy behind him trailing him is able to, to block that ball. Blake Wash in the game for Lima Senior. Yeah. A five foot three junior. Oh, nice pass inside there. Again, you see Finley, give, uh, uh, Finley giving up no offensive rebounds. No, very few rebounds. Like, you know, I'm a senior on pace, I've only got him for two rebounds. And this is third unofficial uh, turnover for Finley. Boy, Ooh. nice looking shot that time. A three-pointer that time by Jagger Hutchins. Yeah, the 6'7 junior. We've got two post people that are pretty comfortable on the perimeter. Cardania with that bucket on the inside. I saw him get 20-some in their opening foundation game this year. Very capable, as I mentioned earlier, inside and out. Uh, the other thing with Cardania and, and Ryan Montgomery is they're not only just you know two tall guys at 6'3 and 6'6, six, six, but they're, they're, bit, they're broad. I mean, yes. they, they take up a lot of space on the inside you know, and make you go around them, and that's not an easy job to do. Well, you know, I said I would mention this several times, that Ben Best, you know, number three for the Trojans, would be on the out-of-bounds right now, guarding the out-of-bounds, but his father was a great player on the bat years ago. So there's a lot of, you know, very good lineage out here in the court. And of course, Ryan Montgomery, brother plays at Ohio State, is an offensive lineman. Dad was a great player here. Yeah, both teams with a lot of athleticism out there. See, both teams so fundamental. Jay Walton trying to move around there, and now he's giving it off to Sean Foster.
That's good ball movement by Lima Street, but great defense by Finley to keep him out on the perimeter. That's uh, first offensive rebounds given up. We're at the last minute of the first quarter here. Pretty fast pace game. 15-9 on the Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken scoreboard. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, home style, happens here. Out of bounds right now for Lima Senior. Calling him for a travel on that. Six turnovers now for Lima Senior. And that's what this Finley defense, you know, thrives on. You know, it, whether they get quick baskets off of turnovers or not, it doesn't matter. At least they get the ball back. Oh. You know, when I watch him shoot, it's almost automatic from the perimeter. And so smooth, too, for a big guy. I mean, he just gets good elevation. You're going to have to get up there high if you're going to block that shot. You can see a lot of trapping on the perimeter by Finley. That foul's going to be on Ben Best. And that's going to send by the senior the free throw line. The free throw sponsor tonight is Web Insurance Agency. Web Insurance Agency, serving Lima, Allen County for more than 100 years with offices in downtown Lima and Bluff. That free throw, Kaelic Wash makes that 18-12 on our Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken Scoreboard. We're down to the final 15 seconds and certainly Finley will be looking for that last shot. If I know them, they're going to go just what they thought. Yep. We're going to go break for, you know, that left to right movement under the basket, you know, has been successful for them, you know, but Lima Senior's done a nice job of just cutting that off. They're getting an extra guy over there to cut that off. Oh, look out. Yeah. You know, Finley scored six straight times on out-of-bounds plays against Whitmer last week, and there was one. As we wind up the first quarter, Finley takes a 20-12 lead over the Spartans. And we'll be back right after this. Welcome back to the House of Jury Snipers. I'm John Nevergall. Coaches lead up in one quarter, 2012. Second quarter, sponsored by the State Bank. Contact the State Bank for all your banking and financial service needs. Visit your State Bank at statebank.com. Member of FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. Wow. Well, Gar, you can really see, you know, on turnovers, on rebounds, really, really taking advantage of running the board. You know, you might not think they were going to do that. You know, you see that offensive average, the defensive average, they're slowing down. They're not slowing any of them. No, 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 they're not. And, and good job of scouting this Lima Senior team, too, because they found a couple openings earlier on, you know, with the backcourt and door cuts and, and getting into the basket. And they're not afraid to really take it to them right now. Javante Hill shooting second two for the Web Insurance Agency free throw. Come out in a full court trap right after the free throw. Good job of breaking the press by the Spartans. Wow. You know, I just yeah. said for well, Cordonio being automatic, so is he. Boy, he, absolutely. The two big guys are putting on a show out there from three-point range, I'll tell you. Mary Hutchins with that three. for Lima Senior here to cut into that lead. Oh, nice shot there. Fade away from jumper, just didn't hit the front of the rim, didn't go for him. You know, right now, I really believe that the biggest key right now is defensive rebound. They're not giving up the second shot. No, absolutely not.
You were able to see the jumping ability of Javante Hill on that. Oh, God. Don't leave Will for Daniel. Oh. Yes. And we're seeing a timeout by Vinny, I believe, on this one. Our timeout sponsor is Metzger Insurance Agency. Tonight's timeouts are brought to you by Metzger Financial Services. Helping you plan your financial future. Call 419-225-506067 or visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. And we'll be back right after this. Welcome back to Finley High School. Trojans currently lead 25-15. Quarter sponsored by the State Bank. Good timeout by Finley, I think, that time. You know, kind of, you just hit a three, got momentum going, but not killing that momentum. Just trying to regroup a little bit. And, and keep it away from him. him. <laughs> and stop him. Somebody's got to get out there on him really quick. I think you'd know by now you don't want to either. you know, I'm a senior three for three, and that young man is three for three from three-point range. No, I didn't know if he'd come into this game with the two big men being the three-point shooters of the game. Well, I didn't know too much about Lima Senior. I didn't know Hutchins. I think I saw the Hutchins last year. And he's definitely not a guy, and he likes that side over there, too. So you know that uh, he's going to, you know, you got to put another guy out there. you got to get on him quickly. Right now, you got Sam Hurst on him. But that's what you got to do. You got to double him up out there. You can't let him open like that. A little bit out of range there, uh, taken from the six feet in from half foot. Yeah, it looked like he had an open look, but he also had a Finley guy coming down on him, so he's a little worried about him, too. Luke Wyrock. Wyrock back in the game for Finley. Luke Wyrock. Great football player. He's one of the few three-sport athletes here and has excelled at all three. I said, there, Jerry, there's a lot of athleticism on both sides out there. You know, these, you, know you saw Lima Senior had a successful football season this year with a lot of speed and a lot of re wide receivers. Finley having a lot of success in football this year too. One of their better records. Out of set and grab a ball. I think he thought he got clipped on that. But. Yeah, that's the seventh unofficial turnover now for Lima Senior. Just three for Finley. You know, sometimes you overlook guard. But even then, I'm sure he thought he got fouled. You don't see any expressions out of the players on either side of this game. That just shows you, I think, how well coached these players are. Play the game. Yes. See, you know, get through mistakes, get through bad calls. And I'm not saying plug I think that's something that's a real tribute not only to the players, but to the coaches. Absolutely. Just play your, you know, like you said, Jerry, just play the game. We just see a miss. Yes, we did. Oh. A little short on the left side there. Finley doing a great job defensively getting back. Lima Senior showing great patience on the offensive end. Devontae Hill, tremendous athleticism. I mentioned earlier, he was on Sports Center in both basketball and football. Football, he made a Magnificent one-handed grab on a pass. Basketball, he had three dunks in the game against Whitmer. They were all spectacular. Three-point shot that time, good. Sean Foster. Full timeout this time. And we'll take the timeout with him. And we'll come back after this. That timeout was sponsored again by Metzger Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Call 419-225-6067 or visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. We're 349 left here in the first half. Trojans with a 27-21 lead. 
And our instant replay sponsor tonight is Simplified Flooring. Sponsored by we make by Simplified Flooring, we make flooring simple. We're gonna see it set things up there for a back door again. That's a real battle we're gonna see down low between those two guys right there. And Condon Perdonio won that one. Just tremendous, you know, foot skill. Just, just very, we're seeing a couple very, very good players on the floor tonight. Yeah, I expect that, you know, that's going to continue with the Hutchins and, and Fordonio all night long underneath like that. Now, like I said, you know, Will's got a little bit of more body strength than I think than, than Hutchins showing out there. So he's going to be able to maneuver a little bit better. But that Hutchins kid is really impressive. Yes, he is. Finley's going to try to take advantage of it right there. You know, I mentioned earlier, we saw that little baby hook in there that time and came up a little long on that, but at the same time, boy, I've seen him hit some of those. Uh, very, very soft touch inside. I know what he was trying to do on that. <laughs> he was going to put that off the glass for Javante Hill trailing. Will Cordon, you're going to the free throw line. 64% free throw shooter. Free throws are sponsored by Web Insurance Agency. Web Insurance Agency serving Lima and Allen County for more than 100 years with offices in downtown Lima and Bluff. Donya coming in like hitting 64% of his free throws, 14 for 22. Now, now for four tonight. And again, Finley comes out in a full court press after that made free throw. Oh, did we see a miss there? Yeah, we did. <laughs> well, going to his left that time yeah, a little bit. Yeah, you know, a little bit. Yeah. Well, you saw Finley fly a guy out there on him, so he yes. had to make that sidestep to get around him and didn't really have a clean shot. Oh, look at this. Again, that little backdoor cut. We've seen about five or six, I think, here. That makes it 33-21, double digit lead for the Finley Trojans. Yeah, just when it looked like Lima Senior is making a nice little comeback on him, got it down within six. Finley's come back with a couple baskets again. And again, turnovers playing a part for, for the Spartans on this right now. There we got eight turnovers for Lima Senior and a nice job right there by Ryan Montgomery. But you see too, you know, taking advantage of a fast break. Lane was wide open. Ryan Montgomery said, why not? Goes to the line and another Web Insurance Agency free throw. And again, Jerry, as we said, you know, Finley coming in only giving up 38 points a game and they're showing it again as 35-21 right now on the scoreboard. You know, just great defense. I mean, just, you know, taking every opportunity, you know, takeaways or turn them into points, everything they need to do. Free throw by Ryan Montgomery opens up a 15 point lead for the Trojans. Ryan now six for six so far this season at the free throw line. Steve, I believe the fourth foul of the quarter. Doing the first foul only on Finley. Amazing. Yes, as aggressive as this game is. I was looking is. at the timeouts there. Yeah. So. No, two fouls now for Finley. But as aggressive as this game has been, right. as much movement has been, that's just five fouls between the two teams in this half. Oh, Great that shot that time. Their numbers are so hard to see. Yeah, you know, they are. On that. So I apologize for missing on that. But. I think it was Caden Hampton. It was, yes.
Blackwater, next one, we were shooting two. Change in the rules this year. The least famous rescue chicken scoreboard down to 108 left in the quarter. There, and Ryan Montgomery shows a little strength yep. on that. That's the second time under pressure getting fouled. He now goes to the line for the Web Insurance Agency free throw. Well, Ryan says, well, you want to concentrate on Will Condon, you know, I'll, I'll go out here and show you how I can do it. You got the Hutchins kid playing out front now. Yep, he's sliding back over yeah, in his favorite over spot. Side. <laughs> He doesn't leave that area very much. I'll tell you, I don't see him coming over on the other side of the court very often. He's not posting up. He's out on that wing. Ball being reversed to him there pretty quick, I think. Oh. Ball back on the floor. That foul is on Javante Hill. Time running down here in this first half. Lima well, Senior would like to get a basket here and finish out this quarter with a little bit of momentum. Showed a little bit of his strength inside that time by Hutchins. So 11 points I've got now for Hutchins. Makes that a 38 26. The Lee's recipe. Chipping scoreboard. Oof. Don't leave him open. Sam Ertz with his first three of the night. That's his second three. Second three, excuse me. And that ends up the first half 41 26. Trojans in the lead. And we'll be back in the first half recap after this. Welcome back to Finley High School. Jerry Snodgrass here along with Dar Nebengal. Dar, let's take a look at the first half. Well, you look at the stats in the first half, of course the scores are looking at 41 to 26 Finley, and it shows in their stats, particularly on the two-point shots, because they're 11 for 16 on the inside for 69%. You know, four for eight in the three-point range for 50%. So overall, they're shooting 63% from the field, so you can't go wrong there. Five for six at the free throw line, and just eight rebounds I've got unofficially with three turnovers for them. Lima Senior on the flip side is five for 13 on two-point range, you know, 38 percent. Four for eight for three-point range, and then you give, you know, credit to uh, Hutchins for that. You know, he was three for three in that first half. Then nine for 21 overall for 43 percent, one for one at the foul line, eight rebounds for them as well. But the big turnover is in turnovers where Lima Senior has eight turnovers compared to just three for, for Finley. So, you know, the game has been pretty much played on the inside for Finley, you know, outside of a, a couple of three-pointers by Will Catania, who, who in that, and unofficially in that first half, I've got him for 18 points. So he's already hit his average in the first half. You're right, and I think that we saw a shot chart, which we don't have in front of us, but if we did, I think we'd see so many other than Cordania's shots and bests right there at the end. Boy, they're all very, very good close to the basket shots. And we'll look, we'll be back with the second half tip, or second half out of bounds, excuse me, right after this. And welcome back to the second half here at Finley High School. The Finley Trojans leading the Lima Senior Spartans 41-26, and this the 81st meeting between these two schools, a series that's led uh, by Lima Senior, 48-32, and um, going with the original starting lineups, I believe, uh, here in the second half. And we'll see what kind of adjustments Quincy Simpson made during the halftime, you know, try to shut down, like I said, Finley shooting very well on the inside. You see right there, you can't let them inside that all because they are deadly. You know, Sam Ernst, and that, you know, Finley just has so many weapons. You know, shot selection has been good. 
throw that in with a great shooting ability and it's a tough team to stop. Yeah, that's I've got Ernst down for 10 points so far in this game, so he's right behind Will Cadonia in the scoring column. No one in double digits so far for uh, for Lima Senior in this game. Boy, that's a great job that time by Lima Senior. Great job by Hutchins that time of controlling his body to not get an offensive foul from that help coming across from the weak side. It certainly was, and I correct myself, Hutchins had 11 points in that first half, so he's the only player in double digits for Lima Senior, and now he's got 13. You see this ball coming around, it's probably gonna, yep, yeah, I was gonna say, yep. Yeah. Oh. There's the back door. Wow. And that left-handed <laughs> by Javante Hill. I don't know how you'd ever stop that. No, you don't. <laughs> You just kind of sit back in awe and watch it. Well, you take the pressure off and not give up the back door, and then you've got great shooters there from the outside. Rebound again, defensive rebound, another one for Finley. See Javante Hill camping over here, just ready to go back door. Oh my goodness. There we saw the jumping ability and the spectacular play of Javante Hill. And that's a quick first step by him too, just to get around the defender. And if you're not, if you're standing there flat-footed, you're in trouble. That opens up a 47, 28, 19 point lead for the Trojans. And this quarter is brought to you by the State Bank. Contact the State Bank for all your banking and financial services needs. Visit your State Bank at statebank.com. Member of FDIC, the legal housing lender. This free throw, uh, going to the line right now for the Spartans, Isaiah, w Isaiah Wilson at the uh, Web Insurance Agency free throw. Web Insurance Agency serving Lima and Allen County for more than 100 years with offices in downtown Lima and Bluffton. It's both of those. And I'll tell you what, Gary, you know, Isaiah Wilson, you know, 5'10 junior coming in averaging almost 16 points a game. And I think that's the first two points I he's got as a game. just a, such a disciplined team and you can always see that from a gym rookie team they just have such great fundamentals and discipline and you see so many of their sets and the way they move the ball from side to side it just every single time puts somebody in position for a back door and you, if you lay off of it you're giving up that reverse pass and they're going to dump it inside to Cordania Foul that time, I believe. Foul that time, I believe, was on. Sam Ernst, I believe. Yeah, we can't see the other scoreboard. No. I tell you, they're relying an awful lot on Isaiah Wilson to uh, break the press for Finley. Yes. I mean, he's been able to a few times, but it's a lot of work for him. And you know, you see there, I mean, like every time there's a drive, there's so much help on the inside. So I mentioned, they're gonna let him play. They're letting him play. <laughs> and you almost have to when you got two you teams like this. Some yeah. Division One teams, you're gonna see a lot of physicality out there and in play and you could be like you said Jerry you could be calling the whistle blowing the whistle all night long you know a little miscommunications there for Finley only their fifth turnover of the game it's made rare Noah Simpson in the game for Lima Senior and Noah just a freshman but he's averaging almost just over seven points a game Isaiah Wilson, you're right, counting on him so much to bring the ball up the court against any kind of pressure. And he has been getting a whole lot of help when they, you know Finley goes into that full court and kind of presses him, makes him you know, cut between the defenders. Cordania has really figured that out, I think. Yeah. Kept his distance on that, you know, for the block. 
foul from behind on Hutchins. That's three on him, I think. Yeah, and that would be a big loss for this Lyman senior team if he goes out. Right now, he's got 13 points, so they're 30 points. Just open that up and spread things out and let him take him one-on-one, -on -one and he does a nice job of that. Javante oh, Hill. Such great elevation. That's the big thing. He gets up there so high that you really got to be able to jump with him or he's going to shoot it right over the top of it. Look at that soft touch that time. That opens up a 51-30, 21-point lead. That's 20 points now for Will Condania in, in just his first basket of the second half, but he had 18 in that first half. 51 30 right now on the Lee's famous recipe chicken scoreboard. And another turnover. 10 turnovers unofficially for the Spartans tonight. Coming in averaging just nine turnovers a game. Oh, nice control. That's 16 now for Javante Hill. And eight points in the first half, eight points so far here in the second half. I was surprised he didn't take that right back up. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, they've really forced Lima Senior into taking some awkward shots. Yeah. And you know, when you get the defensive rebound every time, it makes it very tough to catch up. Yeah, I think, it, you know, he, when he got the ball back, you know, I think it kind of surprised him a little bit he got it back, yeah. and that's why he didn't go right back up. Plus, he already knew there was a guy standing behind yeah. him, too. Isaiah Wilson at the line right now, shooting two. Web Insurance Agency free throw. Serving Lima Allen County for more than 100 years. And the office is in downtown Lima and Block. It's both. Well, he was 13 for 15 coming into this game from the free throw line, and he's four for four tonight. So a very nice touch at the free throw line. A big loss back in the game for the Spartans. Showing a little three quarter foot pressure here. And they able to break it pretty easily. Good ball movement to do it. There's a little battle out there right there between those two as well. I guess Brody Barnes hits that three, just leave no one open. And that is Brody Barnes' first three-pointer of the season. You can tell from the applause. I yeah, he hadn't tried one all season long. That was his first attempt. Whoa. From way downtown. Yeah. Good job that time on the offensive board. Hutchins picks that up. <laughs> Jagger Hutchins really has impressed me as he, far as, he the, really you is. know. He's not as, as physical, you know, as the guys he's going up against, but he's really got some nice moves on the inside as well. And that three-point shot of his is just as smooth as can be. I want to emphasize he's a junior. Yeah. Oh, look out. Look at that soft touch. Yeah. You, you just can't stop it. You can stop it by keeping it out of the paint. That's about the only way to do it. Well, he and he's... His moves just give everybody out of position and just gives him the opportunity just to fade it back and, and throw it in there. Good offensive rebound that time. Noah Simpson with that too. That's his first basket since coming into the game. Sean Foster just with yeah, seven fine. points so far in this game, averaging 20. Got a timeout on the board. A timeout sponsored by Metzger Financial Services. And we'll take a timeout with it. We'll be right back after this.
Final minute here in the third quarter. Trojans, as I mentioned, on the Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken scoreboard with a very comfortable 58 38 point lead. Very easily broke that press for by Lima Senior as well. Here's that shot you're talking about. Yeah, yeah just so soft. That's, a, that's an art that you don't see much anymore either. No, it's not. That's it. What nice left hand shot that time. Sean Foster, I think, for that two. Yep, that was two. So Foster now with nine points. You know, a lot of these players from Finley have been playing together since very young age. Oh, when yeah. I know Coach Nee Camp was one of the guys that coached these guys as young kids. After he got out of the coaching ranks at the University of Finley and took his grandson and a few others and they played together for a long, long time. Ben Best hitting both of those free throws. Now three for three on the season. The thing with Finley right now is, the, you know, every time it looks like Lamb Senior is going to make a move on and close the gap a little bit, Finley's able to respond, and that's a big thing for a team. That's why you see them at 5-0 and this season. They've been able to respond to any adversity they might have or any, you know, momentum built by the other team. Trojans have a big game coming up in mid-January with Ottawa Glendorf. I believe that's here uh, at Finley. And as we end the third quarter, it's 60-50 with the Finley Trojans, comfortable 20-point lead, and we will be back for the fourth quarter right after this. And welcome back, everyone, to the fourth quarter. This quarter is sponsored by the State Bank. Contact the State Bank for all your banking and financial service needs. Visit statebank.com, member of FDIC, and an equal housing lender. And also, we're pleased to announce new pricing for the WSN streaming service for only $8 per month. You can watch WSN from anywhere, anytime. Sign up today at app.app-dot.wsn-dot.tv. Also available on Roku and Apple TV. And Dar, a comfortable lead going into the fourth quarter. We're seeing Trojan do just about anything they want. That was a little breakdown on defense right there. Yeah, Luke now with five points in the game. Luke is that guy that you just love on your team. He does a lot of the dirty work defensively inside. Always forced to pick up, you know, a tough guy inside, just does his job. And you watch Finley, I mean, they are a very physical team, you know, a quiet physical team. You, I mean, it doesn't seem like they're out there, you know, really banging bodies around, but they do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a guy. Tough shot that time. <laughs> Isaiah Wilson, but even there, Luke Weirock does a great job of forcing him to take it in the perimeter. Great shot by Wilson. Yeah, Wilson's kind of putting on some points on the board. Where he was held scoreless in the first half. Well, I'll tell you what, that is a tough shot. Catching that on the run. Sean Foster with that. Is that a three or a two? Gave him a three on that. Well, that was a tough shot to take, taking that, catching that on the run. It looks like back-to-back -back threes there by Lima Senior. See the great team too by Finley. You know, they're very, very unselfish players. Shown by 
a very balanced scoring they've had so far through their five games. Well, you can see that. In fact, the Will had the ball underneath the basket, and yet he still flipped it out to Ryan instead of taking turn around and taking the shot himself. Dodger shooting the first of this web insurance agency free throws. Luke Montgomery, or excuse me, Ryan Montgomery. Ryan now three for three, or three for four at the free throw line. Boy, things have opened up a little bit. <laughs> Great move inside by Isaiah Wilson that time. And there it went. Put a little emphasis on it. Yeah. Well, we're going to see one here. Devontae Hill with his dunk. Back to a 21-point lead for the Trojans. And again, fed off of the turnovers. That was unofficially, I've got 11 turnovers now for the Spartans. But nice shot that time. Three-point goal. Noah Simpson with that one. And Noah now with five points. 50% three-point shooter. I'm surprised he hadn't taken more. And we're going to take a timeout, a Metzger's financial services timeout. We'll go with it, and we'll be back for the last five and a half minutes after this. A reminder to our viewers that our instant replay is sponsored by Simplified Flooring. We make flooring simple. 7251, five and a half, 519 now left here in the fourth quarter. You want to give a lot of credit though. They are not backing down at all. They've been, they've been fighting this whole game. They just haven't been able to get over that hump without getting, you know, that Finley hasn't been able to respond to, but they've really put up a fight. And you know, if, if you're Coach Quincy Simpson, what can you tell your players? They're, they're really shooting lights out. There's not a whole lot you can do. I mean, right there, a turnover that hurts, but... We're gonna call the foul that time, Jerry on Walton. Javante Hill going to the line. And two free throws. Web Insurance Agency free throws. Web Insurance Agency serving the Lima and Allen County for over 100 years. The offices in downtown Lima and Bluff. Now four for four at the foul line tonight. Coming in shooting 71% of his free throws. You know, too, we see the spectacular dunks in the inside play, but it's also a good perimeter shooter as well. Now he's got 20 points now in the game. Good move in time inside that time by Hutchins. Hutchins now with 15. No, I mentioned this is the 81st meeting between the two, and now it is a non-league matchup. You know, it was a league matchup there for a while, and the former track, now the Lima senior in the City League in Toledo, and Finley in the uh, Northern Lakes League. I'll tell you, Jerry, that Hutchins kid has played so hard tonight. Yes. Devontae uh, Hill. And he goes to the 22nd point of the night with a pop of a steal. Unofficially, I've got Redonia with uh, 26 points on the night. Or 24 points on the night. You know, and if you're scouting for Lee and you say, well, 
Who do you, who do you slack off of? <laughs> well, you can. You can. It's just it. I mean, if you go after the big guys underneath, you know, then you've got, you know, the guys out front there and, and White Rock and Burns are going to burn you on the outside. So, yeah, there's nobody really you can concentrate on. You know, you got good, you know, you got Ryan Montgomery coming in and putting in his minutes. You know. That's just, you know, when I look at Luke Wyrock on that, he's just such a hard worker. And this is the shot inside, it's his tail off to get the offensive rebound. No two, Don, you know, I'm a scene. Here we go. He knew going into the season. But boy, they don't back off playing tough No, teams. they don't. And that's one of the things I give Quincy so much credit for. He knows they're young. This is a good experience for them. They'll get better as the season goes. Well, you got Sean Foster, who's averaging 20 points a game, is only a freshman. freshman. And then you go Noah Simpson is a freshman. And then you look down at the line, there's just Walton and Hampton and Dolter kid that are all seniors. The rest of them are juniors. Sophomores are freshmen. Oh, my goodness. Just everything, everything oh, yeah. yeah, you could ask for anything else besides that. That was a gift right there. 78 53, two minutes and 55 seconds left. You know, you look at how many points tonight have come off turnovers. Quite a few for people. Yeah, they you're looking at unofficially 14 turnovers now for Lima Senior in this game. And on the flip side, I've got Finley for just six turnovers. So, yeah, you turn the ball over 14 times to a team with the quality of, of Finley, and you're not going to win too many games, that's for sure. Finley through the years has been so good on what we call offensive efficiency, offensive efficiency rating, and OER, and the capital in every possession. Tonight, and that goes down, that, that goes down to your, your head coach. He's been around for a long time. Yes, and I don't believe he's ever had a losing season, I think, has He has not. Which is amazing when you're talking Division I basketball. And I could be wrong when I say this, but I think there's only been one losing season in the last 35. Wow. And yours truly had one of those. <laughs> I no, won't forget that one. Yeah. Really. <laughs> no, but I tell you too, I think that's what I wish so many schools would, would understand that even when you do have a down year, that consistency on coaching staffs. I know we all want to win, but we all are so quick to get rid of people and things uh -huh. like that. Consistency means so much. And, and it's tough for coaches, and, you know. It is. Because the client, you know, the atmosphere around them anymore. If you don't win, you know, you get, you got, you know, people on you all over the place. If your kid doesn't play, you got people all over you. Well, that was a great job that time of collecting his feet, you know. Only wash on that one. Tough pass over his head to catch it. Or gather his feet before he shot it, still got it up. 80 to 55. And the other disadvantage Lima Senior had coming in this one is outside of Hutchins, they really didn't have anybody, you know, that that tall out there. That's I mean, right. he's six foot seven, you know, but the rest of the teams are not coming in around six foot ones, you know. You know, you got Cotton is six foot five, but he hasn't even out there, you know, that much. Uh, you know, just down to the board, six four, six one, but compared to Finley, you know, he's got the big guys underneath there. You know, it, it's tough. You, you're not going to get the rebounds that you want to get. You know, as much as we go into this, you know, we knew this uh, is a great rivalry game. But even I negated a little bit how young Lima Senior is. And I look at that youth in the floor, and quite frankly, they've done very well. I know the score doesn't reflect that, and that's so much because of Finley shooting. But for a young team, I thought they played well together. Um, very well. Yeah, and and they're still three and two. They'll be three and three after tonight, but they're still two and one in the uh, their Toledo League up there. So, Caden Hampton at the line now. 
Web Insurance Agency free throws. It's the second of the two. Making 80 to 56. We're down to the final minute and a half. Hampton, the other senior that's on this line, the senior team with five points tonight. You know, in watching Finley, I saw Finley in their first game of the year. And I think that their biggest improvement has come from their two guards. Yep. Best and Ernst. Again, you know, when you've got guards, especially, I, I maybe make too much of it, but, you know, Ernst's dad, head basketball coach at the University of Finley. Best, dad was a great player in Bath. You know, you've just got great knowledge. Yes. Your coaches kids, and there's something to be said about it. Blade went there for Southmore, 5-9, first half points of the game. Good looking free throw shooter. SXC is first free throws of the season. So he's two for two now. Oh, there you go, downtown, boy. You know, that's one of the things now, too, that players are allowed six quarters on a night, so you can get some of your younger kids in a little bit more, you know, without worrying about using up their quarters for the year. Which is something you really going to pay dividends for you when it comes down to tournament yes, time. We're really seeing that in girls' basketball right now because girls' numbers are very, very low at places. You know, very few. You see so many two-quarter games at the JV level. Down to the last 45 seconds. Good looking shot that time. I see Cunningham coming in off the bench. And that's his first points of the night. He'll kind of run it down a little bit now. Rare turnover there by the Trojans, number seven on the evening. So just gonna hold it just They're gonna hold final it. 10 seconds. And that's our final score here from Finley High School. 82-59. Trojans proved to 6-0. And the United Senior Spartans dropped to 3-3 three three on the year. And we'll be back for a recap right after this. out this 82-59 win for the Finley Trojans and Dar I'm telling you I was impressed I think they're going to be a Finley's going to be a tough team in Northwest Ohio Division One but they will be and the reason is like we talked about during the broadcast is not just the inside play of their big guys underneath but their outside play of their guard play as well you know and you can't you can't ignore those guys out there and their defense is so tough i mean they they take every opportunity they can now, this was a, a tale of two you know two uh, halves when you look at the scoring for uh, finley you know you know Andonia had you know 24 points for the game but you know 18 in that first half and then you flip side javante hill came out 
in the second half was he had eight points in the first half and 16 in the second half. So he had two players with, with 24 points apiece for this Finley team. The only one in double figures for, for Lima Senior was their big center and Jagger Hudgens, who I was very impressed with, but he had 17 points for the game. But you know, Lima Senior, we talked about, they're young, you know, they're still three and three on the season. They're still two and one in their league, you know, They've got a lot, a lot of areas to improve on, no doubt about it, and they will. I they mean, will. You know, Quincy Simpson is one of those coaches that by the by tournament time, this is a team that you're going to have to watch out for, and uh, we'll see how Finley does for the rest of the season. And you know, as young as Lima Senior is, I, honestly, I know this sounds crazy to say, but they played pretty well. You know? Yeah, I mean, they did. Again, the hot shooting by Finley, and I think you're going to see that time and time again. I'm not sure what else they could have done. You know, a no. couple less turnovers, but they were not unforced turnovers no. either. So, again, I know great coaching by Quincy Simpson. He'll have these guys, you know, improving tremendously. They'll have some good success in the Toledo City League as well. And they'll rebound from this. And they'll be, I believe, they're Division Two again. So that really helps them. Yes, it will. So, uh, you know. Like I said, there's a few things they need to work on. I mean, Isaiah Wilson did a lot of the work trying to break the press all night for Lima Senior, so they're going to have to get somebody else out there to help him out on that. You know, he worked really hard throughout the night. So little things like that, you know. Uh, but they, like I said, they'll mature. They'll get better. You know, tournament time comes around. They're going to be a team to be reckoned with. Well, let's look at the final numbers that we have on scoring tonight. Well, you look down through the scoring, you got uh, – Luke Wyrock came for Finley with five points, Ben Best with four points, uh, all in the second half. Uh, Brody Barnes with three points. Uh, Sam Ers, 13 points. Javante Hill with 24. Blade Went with two. Uh, Ryan Montgomery came in with seven points. And then Will Condonia coming in with 24 points as well. On the flip side for Lima Senior, you got uh, Noah Simpson came in off the bench for five points in the second half. Isaiah Wilson finished with nine points, which blows it almost 16 point average, but you know, in all nine points in the second half. You know, Hampton Kid with uh, five points, and you throw in then seven points for Sean Foster, which is way below his 20 point average. Uh, give credit to Finley for holding him out of there as well. Khalid Wash with five points, uh, Isaiah Cunningham with two points, and then the Jagger Hutchins with 17 big points. And I'll tell you what, he set the tone for Lima Senior early on with those three three-pointers right off the bat, but they just couldn't maintain it after that. Then they made a nice adjustment to get out there on him and keep him from doing that. But uh, he ended up with 17 points, 17 very hard-fought points for that young man. And, you know, as, as we wind up you know, this game and wind up this year, you know, it was nice to see if they had their alumni players back tonight. You know, clear back uh, a couple from the uh, 60s here tonight. And uh, it's really enjoyable to see a lot of those guys. Again, as we wrap up this game, Dar, I appreciate the opportunity to work with you and uh, take this into the new year. So yep. this is Jerry Snodgrass and Dar Nevendall saying good night, everyone, from Philly High School, and Happy New Year.